know how bad it is. You know that there are producers and there are crew members that constantly want to sleep with these girls. You know it. If you see them, send them home. If you can't send them home, or if they don't want to go back home, you please help them. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, please, please subscribe. For returning subscribers, thank you so much. This is Jen Regina Daniels telling us her encounter in this, on the set of one of the sets she went to. We know and we've heard that Nollywood is porous. So many sex for roles, so many people trying to take advantage of people coming up and everything. Now she's sharing an experience she had on the set that even people were even encouraging her that this, the one that girl has gone and everything. Listen to the full video and please, producers, ad actresses, everybody, stop child labor and abuse. Child labor and abuse. Because when all our children are abused, which kind of generation are we breeding? Um, I just, which kind of generation are we breeding when they are abused and molested and, you know, we just wish everybody do all. Uh, we just wish everybody well, but please, producers, filmmakers, stop child labor and abuse. Thank you. Hello, everyone. There is something I want to share. It's a story I wouldn't like to share, but I have to, because there are things that I can't put an end to alone. It takes a collective effort to do so. I went to location and I met a young girl. She was wearing a short skirt and a crop top. And then she walked up to me. I was like, good morning, auntie. I said, good morning, how are you? She said, fine. And she turned and she was like, auntie, do you need the mirror? And I was like, mirror? No, why? Who are you? And then she said, I'm the makeup artist. I looked at her. I said, makeup artist. Because she was obviously young. Then I asked, how old are you? I said, I'm 14 years. I said, okay, who is your madam? I asked, who is your madam? Because something inside me desperately wanted to believe that she was under the guardian of a woman. And then she said, no, not my madam, my ogre. I said, your ogre? So I said, are they paying you? What are you doing? She said, no, that she just wants to learn work. Trust me, I know the industry. The industry is a very dangerous place for young girls. I was there, but I was opportuned to have a really strong mother. A mother that was constantly on my neck, a mother that was feared by lots of people. So they would just give me space. They knew, ah, that's Mama Regina's daughter. You know, they all gave me space. So I said, where is your boss? Call him. He came. He was also a young guy. I was like, when did you start working with this girl? He said, a day before yesterday, like a day before that day. <clears throat> so I said, okay. I'm a very inquisitive person, especially when it involves young girls. Then I asked, why are you not in school? Where are your parents? She said, uh, they're in Port Harcourt. So what are you doing here? Where did you come here? She said, she came here last year. I said, okay, you mean you came here when you were 13 years? She said, yes. So where do you sleep? She said, different hotels. I said, different hotels? I looked at her again. I said, that means you have enough money to lodge yourself. She said, no, auntie. So I just, when I go, I, I just ask anybody, uh, can I follow you and sleep in your room? And I said, okay, you ask only women or men and women. She said, Any, anybody, she will ask them. I said, okay, so have you slept in a man's room? She said, yes. I was like, have they tried to sleep with you? She said, eh, yes, but sometimes she knows to agree and sometimes she will run. I said, okay. I could immediately feel that this girl is losing it. Then I said, you know what? You must go to school. You must go back to your parents and I will take care of you. I will sponsor your school till you're done. And she said, no, auntie, I, I don't want to go back to my parents' house. 
I said, so what do you want me to do? Because I can't leave you here. I was on that set with Mommy Noma Upabi. So Mommy Noma also told me that, yes, that she also saw this girl and that she wanted to help her, but she was, you know, scared that she didn't know anyone with the girl. And I help a lot of girls, but at least through your parents or someone related to you. But she had none. She had no way of contacting them or anything. So I said, okay, I will register this case in the police station just for them to have a record. But you will go to school. How have you been working? Said she has been working with different celebrities and then um, different crew members. She mentioned a few. I just began to wonder those celebrities are they senseless or the crew members okay let me leave aside the crew members because some crew members deceive young girls come come i have rules for you come 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 we can make you a star and when young girls come they end up taking advantage of them that's what they do some of them i said and then but these celebrities, they know what it is to be in the industry. They know what they went through because I know they went through a lot. You cannot just come out and, you know, you, you make it there. There are a lot of people that would want to take advantage of you. It takes only the grace of God for you to meet someone straightforward that will just help you till you are there. I had other crew members around that kept saying, ah, mama, just leave this girl, oh, ah, this, this one, this one, don't go. This one is not even that type of a person you think. Just leave her. And I looked at her again and she was still looking at me. She was so open, like an open book. She would talk. I said, do you want to go to school? She said, yes, I want to go to school. I said, okay. I took her to one of the best schools in Delta State, a boarding school. I didn't care about the cost. Because I believe every young girl can be molded. I'm not helping certain girls because oh, I, I need them to work for me as an assistant or I need them to do something. I don't need anything from them. The society is bad as it is. And we know that young girls are at the mercy of the society. Guys can defend themselves. But you see the girls, they will forever be at the mercy of the society, the underprivileged ones. So, this girl went to school. Her first test came out. She was supposed to be in GSS 3, but she couldn't make it in GSS 3 because obviously her brain was so polluted with trying to walk, trying to hustle, you know, with various men or people. I asked her a really intimate question. And she still told me, which really broke my heart. Her test came out and she did excellently well. She got a total of 90 over 100. And she told me, ah, Auntie Regina, I promise I'll, I'll, I'll make you proud. This was now the first test this girl wrote in Genesis 1 and she did excellently well. Which means that she really wanted to go to school. But there was no opportunity why i'm making this video now is because i urge other celebrities do not encourage child pain when you go on sets and you see young girls my problem is you know the industry you know how bad it is. You know that there are producers and there are crew members that constantly want to sleep with these girls. You know it. If you see them, send them home. If you can't send them home or if they don't want to go back home, you please help them. I've said it to myself. If I go to any production again and I see a young girl again there trying to walk, I will fight with the producer. Believe me, I will fight you. So it's either you don't call me or you make sure that you have capable hands and not having girls that you take advantage of. Now this girl, I am so proud of her. I'm so proud of where she is now. 
But these celebrities that she mentioned, that she worked with, that was terrible. She explained her experiences so far. She told me a lot that happened to her. I believe that if you empower one girl, you are indirectly empowering many others. Because that one girl will be opportuned to help others. So please, say no to child labor. Thank you.